You talk a lot about climbing the ladder and uh, me We and talk about humans thinking that they're climbing the ladder. We never encourage you to get on one. <laughs> Beam me up, Scotty. Um, or the ideal of you can't go from a non-satisfied place to a satisfied place without taking the baby steps or first becoming general. Well, in that thought of getting from, example, angry, mad, or any state of not satisfied to hope is good. Is there a more effective way besides the daily practice of said meditation, said aligning, said refocusing, to get to that state from hope to knowing slash believing in the ideal that believing is a thought that you keep thinking. So what's the most effective way to get from, I've jumped to hope, now I want to get to the knowing of it, the believing of it, where I'm out ahead of it before it has manifested in my life. It's a really good question. The most important thing that we want to say to you is that you are where you are. So if something has happened and you're having a reaction to it, you are vibrationally where you are and anything that you can do to improve the way you feel right now is effective. And it has to be enough because it's all you can do. But today we're really emphasizing in this conversation, the extraordinary difference between working your way up the emotional scale and quieting your mind and taking a quantum leap over there to where your inner being already is. It's standing back far enough to acknowledge that your inner being is there and that you are your inner being and that you don't have to struggle your way up the emotional scale if you just let go what are the words that we were offering satisfied being satisfied with yourself I'm not mad at myself in this struggle right now I know I would rather know than just hope and I sure don't like to have doubt but when you beat up on yourself about what you don't know then you're not satisfied where you are and now the gap is a harder one and so it's just playing with it every day Esther does focus wheels because every day she recognizes a vibration that could be better and often a focus wheel will take her quickly there especially if she catches it early but there is nothing that gets her out ahead of it better than waking up and before anything else happens before she visits with someone before she reads her email before she starts receiving texts before she remembers anything from before if the first thing she does is set herself into a comfortable place and just quiet her mind and tune to the higher frequency this day is dominantly better every single time we just cannot emphasize that enough now does that mean that the other tools are irrelevant no because you can't always go into meditation Sometimes you got to deal with what's coming right at you. Sometimes you need to count to 10 and look for positive aspects in this arena or in this person where there is not one evident positive aspect. <laughs> sometimes you just don't want to make it worse. And sometimes you just want to walk away. You come to understand what works best for you. And sometimes it's this process and sometimes it's this one and sometimes it's this one and sometimes it's this one. But you're at the vibrational place now. We can feel. You understand this. You're speaking our words and our processes back to us as well as Esther speaks them out to you. You're understanding this. And so what you're grappling with here a little bit is that you haven't been able to maintain always being tuned in, tapped in, turned on as if you think that's the way it should be and that's not ever the way it's going to be while you're here in this physical body. You're always going to have some gap. It's the way you feel about the gap that this conversation is about. So if you accept that you are always going to be while you are in this physical form you are always going to be incomplete and reaching for more and that's all right with you then so much of that angst will go away step one is full of all of that stuff all of your creating is done in step one and step one is full of contrast and all of your creating is done in step one and step one is full of contrast and all of your creating is done in step one and step one is full of contrast and all of your creating is done in step one <laughs> and step one is full of contrast isn't it time that you give yourself a break creator 
and that you accept that step one is necessary to the creative process and it's not something for me to be embarrassed about or shamed of or even something for me to overcome because if I didn't see this abhorrent thing I wouldn't have put this magnificent thing into my vortex and future generations would be deprived of the insight that this gave me to put there and so it's about accepting the perfection of who you are humans for so long no matter what platform you were born into have been taught for a long time to accept your imperfection and to repent for it and to overcome it and we want you to embrace the contrast that produces the expansion because we are eternal beings we want you to find a way to love yourself no matter what the way your inner being does